Hey, all physics lovers, normally when we do Doppler effect, the both source and observer move with a constant acceleration. So what happens when the either source or observer move with some acceleration? Then it becomes a tough and also a calculation become complicated. So to illustrate that kind of question, I have a problem of error though, 4.177. So let's try to understand uh, how to uh, tackle these type of questions. So here's a question. Question states source of sonic oscillation with the frequency f and the receiver are located at the same point uh, like this. At t is equal to zero, the source starts receding from the receiver with a constant acceleration a, assuming the velocity of sound to be equal to v, find the oscillation frequency registered by the stationary receiver at time t. Here I have changed the notation and the error it is written frequency, a new note I have written f. Uh, acceleration as usual, they write w, I have, write, I have written uh, a. So at t is equal to zero, this is the picture and the source starts moving with a constant acceleration. We have to find the frequency registered by the stationary observer at time t. Uh, we should understand that the frequency that observer hears at time t must have been emitted sometime earlier. So sound heard by observer at time t must have been emitted by the source sometime before and let that time be t1. So let's see what happens at time t1. So this is the picture at time say t is equal to t1 by time t1. The source started moving uh, from rest with a uniform acceleration. So the source must have traveled a distance half a t1 square. And now at this moment, t is equal to d1, say a pulse of sound, this is the pulse of sound, say 1, is emitted. The sound pulse that is emitted uh, will go in all possible direction. We will take that direction from where it can reach to the observer. So this sound, the sound pulse at t is equal to t1 is emitted. And the emitted sound pulse goes with velocity uh, v. It is given the velocity of sound to be equal to v and it reaches to the ears of observer at time the the same that pulse that was emitted at time t is equal to t1 it reaches to the ears of the observer or whatever the detector is uh, the same pulse at time t is equal to t so you can say that the pulse emitted at t1 from s reaches o at t so to find frequency heard by observer at time t, we need two pulses arriving at the ears of uh, observer around time t. First pulse say arrives at the at time t, and we need another pulse that arrives maybe a little later, but that time difference is so small that we can say that the pulses are arriving at time t. What we'll do, we'll find the time difference between the two pulses arriving at that time moment and the um, reciprocal of that time difference will give me the uh, uh, apparent frequency heard by that observer. So the source is uh, oscillating with a frequency f. Uh, that means that the after every capital T time, that capital T is equal to 1 by f, a new pulse is, uh, is generating. So the pulse, first pulse that I've taken that is generated at time t is equal to t1. Now next pulse will generate at time uh, t is equal to t1 plus capital T like this. So this movement that I'm taking for the second pulse which is generating at time t1 plus t and this is the second pulse. And uh, so far, the source has moved uh, a distance a t1 plus t whole square because initial velocity was zero from the observer. Now the second pulse will again start moving the that sound. So it will move with the velocity of sound in all possible direction. We will take that direction from where it can reach to the ears of observer. So here the second pulse uh, emitted from the source and this will reach to the ear of uh, that observer at time say t is equal to t dash. So 
the pulse that was emitted at time t1 plus capital T from S reaches at T dash. So we have to find the frequency heard by this observer. So uh, we will find the time difference between the two consecutive pulses that are uh, reaching to the ears of that observer. So that time pulse will be uh, say T dash and this T dash will be the first pulse reaches to the ear of observer at time t and the second pulse is reaching to the ears of observer at time t dash so the time difference between two consecutive pulses will become t dash minus t uh, now uh, we'll do some calculation first we'll do calculation about this t1 see uh, this Pulse, this pulse reaches to the observer at time t. So I can write t is equal to t is equal to 0 was started at this moment. The our stopwatch started when the source started moving. So what happened from here? First observer reaches here. So far time t1 has elapsed. So t1 has elapsed. Then after this moment after this moment uh, the sound pulse 1 is generated and it will have to travel with velocity v to reach o uh, at time t so that it will have to cover another time from here to here from here to here so this another time is t2 and this t2 will be how much this t2 will be uh, because it is moving with a constant velocity so distance divided by velocity so total time to reach to the sound at the observer so uh, t1 t1 was the moment when the sound was emitted and the other time is half a t1 square divided by v so let me simplify this so that will become uh, vt is equal to v t1 plus a t1 square by 2 so let me multiply by 2 so this 2 this 2 and this 2 just remove so we get a t1 square plus 2 v t1 minus 2 v t is equal to 0 this is a quadratic question and i want to solve for t1 so t1 will be minus 2 v uh, plus minus i will take plus because the time will be positive if i'll take minus overall time will become negative so 2v plus square root of uh, 4v square plus 8 uh, a v t1 uh, divided by 2a so further let me simplify so i will get uh, t1 is equal to uh, I can take a 4 outside the, the square root so that will become 2 so that will become uh, v square plus 2a vt uh, minus v divide by a and uh, maybe I will get answer letter in terms of a t1 so a t1 that will become uh, v square plus 2a vt minus v so that t dash t dash is the time interval between two consecutive pulses reaching to the ears of observer so this t dash in this t dash uh, there is a, a capital t dash there is small t dash small t dash was the time movement when the second pulse reaches to the ear of observer and let's go back to the previous slide the second pulse reaches here the second pulse was generated at T1 plus capital T time and it will further have to travel some distance to reach to the ear of observer. So it will, uh, this T dash will be T1 plus T plus uh, this time that the pulse will take to reach there. So suppose that is a, some uh, T double dash type of thing. So T dash will be at t1 plus t time the second pulse was generated and second pulse will have to travel a distance half a 
टी वन प्लस टी होल स्क्वायर डिवाइड डिस्टेंस टू रीच टू द ऑब्जर्वर इट इज मूविंग विद वेलोसिटी वी सो दैट एक्स्ट्रा टाइम विल बी हाफ ए टी वन प्लस कैपिटल टी स्क्वायर बाय वी सो माय टी डैश टी डैश इज स्मॉल टी डैश माइनस टी सो दैट इज अ टी वन प्लस टी प्लस हाफ ए टी वन स्क्वायर प्लस कैपिटल टी स्क्वायर बाय वी एंड दिस स्मॉल टी स्मॉल टी आई वांट टू राइट अगेन इन दिस फॉर्म सो दैट स्मॉल टी आई वांट टू राइट माइनस टी वन प्लस हाफ ए टी वन स्क्वायर बाय वी एंड सी इफ आई सिंपलीफाई दिस थिंग्स You see this. This T one and this T one will get cancelled, and then I will remain with. So T dash becomes capital T plus half A by V, uh, T one plus capital T whole square minus T one square. See from here. This everything here, and then. That will become a uh, capital T plus a by two v. I uh, will put a square minus b square formula, so that will become two uh, t one plus t into capital T. Now more simplification will give me t dash is equal to capital T plus a by v uh, t one. Yes, plus. A T square by a uh, two V. So what I want to do, I uh, want to put in place of T one by F, so that will become one by F plus uh, A uh, T one by V uh, plus A by two uh, V F square. And let me take LCM two V F square. So uh, that will become how much? Two uh, vf plus two uh, f two vf square is a denominator, so two f into a t one and plus a. Oh, here that I've got. Let me write it once again. Two vf plus two f a t one plus a divided by Two uh, vf square. So I'll take the value of a t one from here. Square root of v square plus two a v t minus v. Oh, let me write it here. So two vf plus two f square root of uh, v square plus two a v t uh, minus v, and then plus v uh, divide by Two v f square. So see one thing. This we don't want to. I mean, make it complicated. See orally. Here there is a two v f. This is two f minus v. So these two, this term and this term will get cancelled. So what we are we will get? We'll get uh, on some a plus two uh, f square root of uh, v square plus. Two a uh, v t divided by two v f square. So now, apparent frequency heard by the observer is the reciprocal of the time difference between the two consecutive pulses reaching at its here around time t. So just reciprocal of this thing. So that will be two uh, v f square. Divide by a plus two f square root of uh, v square plus two a v t, and this is the expression that we want. So that is the way we solve when the source or uh, observer moves with some acceleration. So thank you for watching this video. Enjoy.